Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy XV. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going for this quest. It's uh, seemingly just around. I don't know. You got anything Hello, useful? Boys. Feel free to browse at your leisure. Bulletproof suit. Don't I have fireproof inners? These fucking shoe insole things again. I don't. Or card. Like? What? Any ideas for Interesting. I guess I have that already, but that also is very good. 70 plus 70. Not bad. Uh, anything else? Nothing else. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. All I did was look at your stuff. Um, what? Okay. Well, you're stuck with me. Well. Um, oh, that's interesting change of music. Uh, I don't know where the store is supposed to be. Um, it's not a point I'm familiar with from the, uh, from the Chocobo Festival, so. Something interesting up here. You just get a bunch of fucking Vuvuzelas? Oh, okay, is it picture time? We should be pretty close to a famous photo spot. Alright. Let's check it's it out. It's easier to find the dress, yeah, anyway. Let's go. Uh, the palace. It's literally right up there. Yeah, okay. Hoop, hoop, hoop. What am I checking? Statue. A goddess as merciful as the sea is wide. May Le Leviathan long protect this land. Peace be unto the province of Accordo. Idolus Aldercrap, Aldercapped, Emperor, Emperor of Niflheim. Good Peace lord, I can't the read any of that. No more to say? Just that? Alright. Get out of my way. Have a look, knocked. What? Right, what? Oh, oh, okay. Care what is that? Ride? Can I jump down? I already did. I just read it. And you talked about it. What are you wasting my time for? Yeah. But... Have a look, knocked. Yeah, I, I did. What is it? Uh-huh. Okay. Thanks for nothing. Just wasting everyone's time here. Oh, stairs. Fucking stairs are the worst. So, care to take a cruise? No, I'm taking a photo. Be fucking weird somewhere here. else. Good call. Now it's picture time. I guess that's the palace over there then. Uh, let me get this shot. All right, what do we got? That what the fuck are you doing with your hands? Is that? A six? What? I don't understand why, but sure. It's a little too bloomy there, though. Save that one. Alright, experience. Um, okay, well, I'll uh, continue to explore the city a little bit here, I guess, while I talk about Saskatchewan some more. Um, we did an escape room. This way to the dress. Um, oh, wait, whoa. Yep. Same street as the estate. Okay. Seems we're on the right track. Alright, interesting. That's sort of what I wanted. Um, and a state. I'm not sure what a state they're talking about. Maybe up top? Um, yeah, so we did an escape room, uh, which for those of you who don't know what those are, those are basically a room that you are trapped in and you have to solve various puzzles in order to get out. Uh, some are harder than others. Um, they all have different themes. The one we were in was like a a cabin, like a, a murderer's cabin in the in the snow-filled like mountains uh, that we had to escape from. We had 45 minutes. Uh, we we lost that time. Um, Excuse me. Uh, could you point mostly. Us to the shop with Lady Luna Freya's dress? Am Just I fucking follow following you? Towards the secretary's estate. Then brace yourself for the insane crowds. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess that's to be expected. Um. Thank you. She's a big deal. That's big. There. Think you mean huge? Uh, yeah, so we... It took us 45 minutes, uh, and so we ran out of time, but that was because of, uh, the 10 minutes that we basically wasted on trying to get the stupid fucking little locker that was in there open. We had the numbers and combination right, we just couldn't remember the correct amount of terms, because we've all been out of high school for, like, five years. So, five years? No. It's been, like, seven years almost. We recommend gelato made with a fine with fine wine from Veldoria, not for children or lightweights. 
gelato made with wine. Interesting. Try our other sophisticated gelato flavors, and for the faint of heart, or fear not, we have enough flavors to please the pickiest of palates. Flavor of the day is... What? Am I going to finish that sentence? Alright, so am I supposed to be going oh, this way, or... So the way? No, down this way. Right. Like that. And it shall be, my love. Ah, okay. <laughs> Looks like the prince has a following as well. One hell of a oh, crowd. Okay. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah, I'll think about it. All right, we uh, found the dress. I apologize for that little blip there, even though it basically means nothing to you guys. That was half an hour of my life. Um, because we have renovations and it's just fucking everything in the house. We serve a full selection of popular quarter wines. Ask one of our certified sommeliers to help well, you choose. Well, talk to me, lady. Then why don't you? Can I just push you around? Yeah. Let's hit up Margo How later. far can I push you? Now I see why people flock from far and wide can I push you, like... Water. Like up the stairs? It's difficult to walk slowly. I can't sneak. Let's take a look inside. Oh well. Um, Alright, any little items are hanging out around here? Something in the end? Usually is. No? Really? Nope. nope. Okay. Well, uh, the main story uh, point is just below us. Um, I actually did play the uh, one of the games at Mago. What was that? Time flies when you're happy. Fajeno Street? Or Fejino? I mean, it sounds better as Fejino, but... Um... Yeah, so I guess... Let's see if I can take a gondola down there, because that's the only way I was able to get down there before. What is that noise? Is that a boat? Oh. I don't know what that noise was. Yeah, if you hear any more, uh... Odd sounds or little interruptions, it's probably just because... Renovation work and us not being able to be at home during the day means that everything we're doing is basically just like we don't even we're not even at home for dinner. We have like three hours before going to bed to get the rest of the shit done for the day that we need to do, like the laundry and things like that, so a little stressful, not so much for me as my parents doing the renovations, but Still lolling. Alright, uh, I think there's just... We'll explore the city later on. Um, I mean, you've, if you've watched the, uh, the Chocobo Carnival, then you've seen tons of exploration of the city, just with more party pizzazz stuff. At least they've got the same nice gondola music. And we're going left. Oh, he does turn his little, uh, motor Fantastic. thing. I don't know, probably the Call, fucking luxury right hotel like we have at all the other places. Do I have to surf people? Welcome to okay. Okoro, lads. Sid mentioned Hello. you'd be dropping in. Can I look away? Wesker Armagh, as you gathered. Wesker Armagh? Okay. You've grown, little prince. Hmm. Just gonna uh, of run around. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. What all right. I buy? Hey, how's it going? Buy alcohol. Looks like it's all there is. So, I don't know if uh, what the fuck is happening right now? Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. 
So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Okay. Um, do I get to ask a lot of things? I guess I'll ask where Luna Frey is. Oh, there's a that's all option, so I guess I get you to really ask one once, maybe? Make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Ah, all right, so I get to ask all the questions. So you see lots of NIFs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander I mean, they're did just cause people. a stir when he showed up the other day. Bravis. So soon after they felled the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come yeah, to Altisha. Yeah, they did it. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. And last question. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. What is that they're have to do anticipating with that the Hydrian will wreak havoc. Why would they allow the right to proceed? Mm -hmm. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about Ooh. your distinguished okay, hello. guests. Fuck you, I'm leaving. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. How about the cafe in the brochure? What do you want? You gonna be the problem person? Gentlemen. I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Klostra. Okay. First secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. Okay. You oh, hey, it's know. the dream music. We have Lady Luna Freya in our care. Okay. Your voice doesn't exactly and suit you. The Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence, I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, Come to my estate. Okie doke. I don't know what the sassy walking she away means, but the best of times. But I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Yeah, that's why she's looking to profit from oh. selling out the okay. fucking that only resistance this world has. Uh, might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? I guess so. Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Are you just gonna magic us there, or are we gonna have to actually go? No, we have to actually go. All right. As I say, welcome to Mago. Be sure to check out the wine list, our wine list. All wines are selected to complement our seafood and salad dishes. Cool. Okay. Um, so I was going to talk about... Uh, oh, cosmogony again. I was going to talk about the, the escape room some more after I read this, I guess. The crystal. There once lived a man, born immortal, but blessed with powers divine. I assume the king... Conjuring collection of glaives, he dispelled the darkness plaguing our star. As a reward for his efforts, the gods granted him a holy stone, the crystal, which he was to guard at all costs, for it would one day choose a king to see us through the coming disaster and lead us to salvation. So yes, that's about the king and me, I guess. Um, yeah, so the escape room, uh, we ended up wasting like 10 minutes on the silly locker. 
Other than that, we figured out all the puzzles without too much issue. We, you can ask for hints and stuff. Um, there were a couple of hints that we did end up using. I think we, I think you're allowed a limit of your limit is two before you, uh, before you can't like go on the leaderboard. But we weren't really worried about that. Um, I think we ended up with like three, with the exception of like, we we did ask at the end. Because there was a like one more step we had to do before the end, and we weren't sure if it was an indication that we won or if we had to do something with it. So we had to ask for clarification on that, but that's not really a hint. Um, shop? Oh yeah, I can shop on that. Wait, can I shop on that guy? <laughs> I guess that guy has a shop too. Um, <sighs> I am super tired. Because uh, again, renovations are getting us up early and not home till late um so yeah so this uh this room uh was actually the hardest room but it was the only room available when we booked uh, there were four of us so we ended up doing it anyways it wasn't that bad um it was a little difficult i mean it was our first time though so we didn't really have much to compare to but it was still like doable like i didn't have too much issue with it um the reason we got the extra, like, 15 minutes to finish it that we needed is because no one, it was like the end of the night, and no one had it booked after us, so we just continued going. Um, it was cool, and I'll definitely be doing more of them uh, in Vancouver. There's, like, at least four different spots, I think, that you can do them. Uh, the prices are usually, like, between 20 to $30, depending on whether it's, like, a intense room or not. I know some of the themes in, like, uh, Vancouver at the moment are, like, a, there's a insane asylum. Uh, there's, like, a, I don't know if there's a prison one. Um, there's a Alice in Wonderland theme one. Um, I don't know which one I'll end up doing. I, I might do a bunch of them, but just got to figure out who's coming with Ashley and I. Um, what else about Saskatoon? We went to a Fuddruckers, if any of you are familiar with that. That is a restaurant arcade chain. Uh, I guess similar in style to like Crash Crawlies, but it's not a jungle gym. It's an arcade uh, and the buildings are separate. You have Fuds which is like the, the burger shake, uh, fry shack, um, larger kind of restaurant thing. Um, and then you've got Rutgers, which is the arcade. Definitely found a, a rigged game in there called, like, I think it was called Flaming Finger. Um, I can't remember, I think it was, I want to say it was made by Namco or something like that. It was some video game that company that's still around, but it's like super old. Um, definitely... Definitely discovered it was rigged after trying a couple times. I'd noticed the the purpose was like to trace a finger on the uh, trace a trace a maze on the screen with your finger uh, before time ran out. During the time, during the time, during the town, then use our famous gondolas, experience the city on the sea the way it was meant to be. Altitia Waterways Transit Authority. Yes, we just did that. We already did that. Don't you ever say that again, ever. I will send you home. Um. Oh, Christ, what was I just saying? <laughs> uh, oh, hey, it's Kenchiana. Yeah, Kenchiana. How, are you, how are you doing? Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory. Okay. Wherein the king may walk. All right. Uh, through Umbra's power, you can now revisit past memories. Interesting. Summon him when you rest at lodgings. Characters will retain their current level and abilities. Okay. Rental chocobos will automatically return to the post. The place you called Umber will be set as your last rest point. Huh. I don't... know what that means? I have no idea. Are we supposed to spend the night or something, though, first? Is it going to cost a shitload? Greetings. 500 bucks, that's not that bad. Call Umbra. Interesting. Um, let's well. check this area out first. While I remember. Oh yeah, so the the rigged ass game are you the same thing? Um, so you had to trace a, a line through a maze on the screen with your finger as fast as possible. If you get to the end, you get like the all the jackpot tickets, like the amount of tokens. Each time you put a token in, the amount of tickets you can possibly win goes up. So it was like to, up to like 140 or something by the time I did it, and it's like three tokens or something. Um, so I, I did it, I must have tried it like 10 times. Um, maybe not that many, but close to that. And I noticed whenever I'd get to like the last sort of uh, 
like fifth of the screen, like to the right side near the finish line, Welcome it would uh, Will you be requiring a it would stop. And at the first couple times, it's like, okay, maybe time ran out. And then I kept doing it, and I noticed just the exact same spot every single time. I got to the point where, to ensure the fact that it was actually rigged, I uh, so when you when you have your finger on the screen, there's a bit of friction, obviously, as you drag your finger across an object. Um, so I put my finger in a plastic bag that I had, which just creates almost no friction whatsoever. And I just ripped through the maze, and it immediately cut it off. So it's it's definitely not a possible game to win. It was it's fun. It would have been more fun if I could actually feasibly win it because I would have wrecked it. But all right, let's let's rest up. Like they said, let's see what's happening. Oh, Ignis is. That was the the food theme, but I guess not. All right, everyone's leveled up except for Prompto there. 49, Jesus, we're almost level 50. I guess we're a little more than halfway hey, through the this game. One's pretty good. That is a nice I picture. I dig it too. Uh, any other nice pictures we got? No, there's that one, that's not bad. Not bad. Kind of looks like a face in the upper center there. Just Gladio and the boat though. Nice boat in the background. Prompto, what the fuck are you doing? You're pointing at the thing with two fingers? For some reason. Uh, just Not chilling bad. on the street, I guess. And then there's the dress, which is on a weird mannequin. I don't know who that dude is in the picture with Luna Freya. I was going to say that earlier, but I got interrupted. Um, just another selfie. Brooding picture. Obligatory brooding picture. There's Wescom. Cool. And missed annoying Addison woman, sort of. Alright. Uh, did we get that... Not sure which that picture was where Prompto took the picture of the uh, of the thing with all of us in front of it, but it's not here. Oh well, good thing I was recording it so I can actually save it. Okay, um, I'm going to cut through this and then I'll join you in a second. Good morning. Hi. All right. Uh, so next time well, we will continue we to go talk to Camellia. and go yeah, talk to Camellia. Like we have any other option. Um, There's no telling how events will unfold. Is it raining? Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Yeah, I guess I should equip my party. All right. Well, I will meet you guys there in the next episode. I am out of time for this recording session because I spent half an hour fucking around in the house with nonsense. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.